AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety, saving lives through research and education. Hi, I'm Sharon. You know, it's been a few years since I rode on one of these, but I remember in all the years I took the bus to school, we were lucky. We never had an emergency where we had to evacuate the bus. Still, we were ready. We knew that crashes do happen on the road, so we practiced emergency evacuations, and we knew what to do if there was trouble. Now, traveling by school bus is very safe, but the unexpected can happen, and I want you kids to be ready if it does, and that's what we'll talk about today. I know that you ride different kinds of buses, so we'll look at several of them and several kinds of exits, including doors, windows, and even roof hatches. We'll see how to use them and when to use them. Also, you should know that some of you may be chosen by your bus driver to be leaders and helpers. We'll see how important these jobs are and what your responsibilities will be. Okay, we're just about ready to go, but first, there are two very important things you always need to remember and do. First, during an evacuation, you need to carefully listen to and follow your bus driver's instructions. Second, whether it's practice or the real thing, you do need to act quickly, but you need to stay calm. Don't rush. Let's see how it's supposed to go. The safest way out is actually the way you came in, the front door. First, your driver will announce the type of emergency evacuation. Attention students are going to have a front door evacuation. Helper, I need you to Then the driver will release a helper and a leader, telling the leader where to take everyone as they exit the bus. If you're a helper, you stand to the side of the door, ready to help kids off the bus. If you're a leader, you move a few steps away, ready to lead everyone, single file, to the spot pointed out by your driver. We call this spot the safe waiting area, a place on the same side of the street as the bus and away from traffic. Back on the bus, your driver will release you one seat at a time. Remember, move quickly, but don't rush, and leave everything like lunch boxes and knapsacks behind. Use the handrail on the way out and follow your leader, single file, to the safe waiting area where your bus driver will join you. Well, what do you think? It's pretty straightforward, but again, the keys are listen carefully to your driver's instructions and make sure you don't rush or run. Well, there is one other thing to keep in mind as we look at these evacuations. If the driver is unable to assist you in a real emergency, you should be able to evacuate the bus on your own. So. Watch carefully and be thinking how you and your friends could exit without the driver's help. Okay, everyone, move to the back of the bus. Students, I need your attention. We're going to do a rear door evacuation. If the front door is blocked or jammed, or there's a fire at the front of the bus, you'll need to find another way out. If your bus has a rear door exit, Several things will be different if you have to evacuate through it. Let's see what happens. This time, your driver releases two helpers and a leader. One helper unlatches and opens the door, and all three exit and get in position. Now, the driver directs the students in the evacuation while staying at the back of the bus. Wait alertly until it's your turn. Sit down and scoot out. When you get to the rear door, you can exit two different ways. Here's one way. You can duck your head, bend your knees, and jump down, putting your hands on the shoulders of the helpers. 
You can also sit and scoot. Sit on the edge of the bus floor and scoot out with assistance from your helpers if needed. Doing this makes for a shorter jump to the ground. Once you're out, follow the leader single file to the safe waiting area. And one other thing, if you're exiting a bus that's filling with smoke, you'll need to stay low, below the smoke, and feel your way to the exit. Imagine heading for the rear door and, hey, where's the door? Well, some buses have the emergency door or doors on the side. If your bus does have two side doors, your driver will have you evacuate out the side away from traffic, usually the right side door. If you're a helper or a leader, you should be seated near the exit. Your driver will have you fold up the seat if necessary, open the door, and exit. The driver is now ready to release everyone, but in a different order. Let's look. Your driver will release those of you seated to the rear of the side door first, and then those of you seated toward the front of the bus. Watch for the driver's signal and either duck and jump or sit and scoot. The same as when exiting out a rear door exit. And once again, follow your leader single file to the safe waiting area. If the right door is blocked and your driver has you exit out the left side door, make sure you watch for traffic as you exit the bus and follow the leader to safety. Students, we're going to do a front and a rear door evacuation. I want you to remain silent and listen for my directions. When are two doors better than one? when both doors are safe to use and you need to exit the bus very quickly. Your driver will begin the evacuation from a dividing point near the middle of the bus. If you're seated to the front, you'll use the front door. And if you're seated to the rear of the bus, the driver will direct you out the rear exit. Remember to bend your knees when you jump down. Duck your head. And remember that using more than one door means that more of you will be working as leaders and helpers. Now, if your bus is different from this one, your driver will show you how to evacuate using more than one door, like when you use the front door and a side door. Or two side exit doors. But again, be careful here, you must check for traffic if you go out a side door. The doors on your bus give you more than one way to evacuate in an emergency. But what if they were blocked? Where would you go? Check this out. It's a bus with a sunroof. Actually, it's called a roof hatch, and you could use this if the bus was on its side. Your bus driver will be showing you how to open the hatch and all exits. Remember, you would need to know how to open them yourselves if the driver couldn't help you but also remember that an emergency exit should never be opened unless there's a real emergency. We've talked about lots of exits, but there's still one other way to get out. The windows. Regular windows can be used, and some buses even have special emergency windows. These flip open to the side or up, and helpers might need to hold this kind open during an evacuation. Your bus driver will show you how the emergency windows on your bus open, how to ease out the window feet first, how the helpers would assist, how you could step on the bus molding for support, and how you would safely drop to the ground. Also, if you ride on a bus with side doors, it may have a rear window like this one. This is another way out if the bus is on its side. Here's one last thing you need to know. Some of you ride on buses that transport special needs kids in wheelchairs. Kids, be careful going out the back door. Donnie, you want to help me on the chair here, please? If you're a student helper, you may be asked to help these kids evacuate the bus. And all of you should know that a wheelchair lift lowered halfway 
can be a quick two-step way out of the bus. Well, we've covered a lot of information, but here are the things you really need to remember. When you practice evacuations with your bus driver, take it seriously. Crashes do happen and you have to pay careful attention so that you'll know what to do in an emergency. And how to evacuate the bus on your own if the driver can't help you. Also, if you're picked to be a helper or a leader, carefully learn what's expected of you in these important jobs. Your friends will be counting on you. Like I said before, you may never have to evacuate your bus, but after you practice with your driver, I'm sure you'll be ready for the unexpected, and you'll always be able to find the safest way out. Thanks for listening, kids, and have a great school year. Leading the way into a safer future. The AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety continues to save lives through research and education.